everybody. My name is Calista Zorbis. I'm here with my mom, Demetra, and John. <laughs> and right now we are heading to a show, and I don't know, we don't know what it is yet. She knows. <laughs> but we don't know what it is yet. So stay tuned and we'll find out together. Sorry about the light too. It's really dark. It's 6.50. This is a good game already. So, not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> we'll see you there. How's it going, guys? I think we had a, a few people rolling late, but uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Luke from EQX. Happy to be here, and uh, thank you. You're the only one. Uh, really thrilled to be here. So happy to be celebrating this film and its 15th birthday. Uh, hope you thought of some questions, but I'm gonna bring the guys out, chat for a bit, and then we're gonna throw things to you. So uh, let's get this train rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, John Heater and Efren Ramirez. Hello. Is anybody out there? Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello to the front. There's only one dude standing. Do not stand up. I'm going to sit for you guys, so you sit for us. I see a few Napoleons out there. Or we could just stand the whole time. Do you guys want to yes. stand? Hello. Do you greetings. He's like, there might be a Sophie out there. A little Sophie out there. Well, thank you. Are you. Aren't you sick of this stupid movie? <laughs> yes? No. How dare you ask that? So what do you guys think about the documentary? Was it pretty sweet or something? <laughs> I actually wanted to bring that up to you guys. It feels like a documentary. This movie, it just has that fly on the wall kind of flat look to it. There were best a lot of flies in that production. Yeah. yeah, most of that was not ADR. Like it was not sound effects. It was just like, oh, those egg sandwiches. Oh. I think I ate some maggots. That take a lot of takes. That scene. Did you have to bite me? No, no, because I puked the first scene. So they're like, all right. Hey, that's my bike. <laughs> that's the next stop after Me and my cousins gonna... are here to reclaim it. <laughs> but I guess I'll build you a cake or something. <laughs> you guys did a lot of that, though. There was, like, so much after the film wrapped, and it started to blow up. You guys hit the streets in character and kind of set a trend. So I think Sasha Baron Cohen was doing, like, the same thing next year when Borat was out, but... I was talking with Efren on the phone a few weeks ago, and we were talking about one of the promos on MTV where you guys are in the LA River, just fishing for catfish, and it's it's just bizarre. And in the just, LA River, you're fishing for anything, right? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> well, um, yeah, no, we, we had some good times. It, it was in downtown Manhattan where we came and nobody knew, nobody knew the movie or the characters, and I remember one of my favorite things we did, so I dressed up in character again, because I was that desperate, um, and had nothing else better to do, and I had the wig, well, I had, I say the wig, it was not a wig in the movie, but for the promotional stuff, I got a wig, and, uh, and we pretended, you guys remember TRL, that doesn't happen anymore, does it? But, where they would actually walk the streets and they would find like random people in the streets like hey come be our guest host for the next segment and they we set this whole thing up where they were walking the streets and they'd come and find this butthead and it was called like, like random VJ right yeah, what's going on here and so they brought me into guest VJ and it was such a weird mix of reaction from all these like young teen girls kind of like, like <laughs> Is this guy for real? Like, who is this guy? It's, it's not... They didn't know the characters, so they weren't laughing. They were, I think they felt sad for me. <laughs> and I was just like... Hey, I gotta go back to school, but it's 4 o'clock, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, lots of fun. Well, 
a movie that has stuck with a lot of people too, man. That, that reality, growing up in a small town, I loved it too. And I want to get specific about some deleted scenes. And Efren and I talked a little bit about on the phone about this too. But the deleted scenes are up on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys have seen some of them. The DVDs, yeah, the DVDs and Blu-rays. So reference for the audience, if you haven't seen it, Pay Luca is the short film that we shot back in 2001, which was the first creation of this character, and I was the only one who was in it. We were, it was actually a school project. Jared Hess and I, who knew each other at school, in the film program, he was like, hey, let's do this little thing, and that's how this all started. It was like a two-day shoot in the same place, um, and again, pretty much... It was the same vibe and everything, but we shot like black and white, 60 millimeter. Uh, really cool, short, and if you have the DVD or the Blu-ray, it should be on there. Check it out, it's my favorite. It's, I think it's better than the movie, because it's so short. Wait a minute. No, no, it's great. <laughs> but, but the perm is even better in the short. It's so incredible. So, uh, but yeah, there was a whole segment in there where we go to the thrift store to get a uh, Pedro wig. Um, but I have to, but we don't have enough money to pay for both, so we go try to get an Idaho lotto ticket, and I'm not old enough, but we get Pedro to do it because he's got a mustache and makes him look older. And, and in sense. the end, you know, I, I have to choose between buying the wig, we only have enough money for the, either the wig, or a fanny pack, and I think that's the sweetest fanny pack. You go, you go sweet cup holder, which yeah. I've never seen one with a cup holder yeah. before, but man. You didn't see this one. Um, and I sacrifice the sweet fanny pack and give my friend Pedro the wig. Um, and we shot pretty much all those scenes for the feature, but I think like recopying and just doing it again, it didn't feel the same and, and it just ate up more time. And so it worked as it was, it was great. You gotta say a true hero, which you are by the end of the film. Yeah. <laughs> That's love. Well, I'm actually curious, uh, is there anyone here tonight who was seeing the film for the very first time? Yes! Woo! Here! Okay. Hey! Whoa. The All right. away, she sat up here in the beginning, and she was like, this is gross. She kept going up and up and up. No, actually, you started off with that, this is my first time, and it was hilarious. I was like, well, thank you. I mean, it's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. Why are you taking money from that gentleman behind you? What? I don't understand. Um, so just you? Nobody else? Oh, nice. All right. Dedicated. Oh, right there. Oh, hey, yeah. Gina the Llama. I mean, there's no mention of, like, that she was going to be obstinate and stupid. Um, so, you know, what the art director gave me to feed her was like, was like, this is casserole? It's like, yeah, I mean, it's like hamburger helper without the hamburger on top with breadcrumbs on I mean, it was disgusting. So, of course, she wouldn't eat it. So I did throw in the line, like, just eat the food, you know, just like throwing the food. And that was, I was telling someone here, I was like, that was one of two scenes where I actually, like, as soon as I said, I was like, sorry. Like, I, I broke character and I was like, so sorry, just, it's very funny when you torment the animals. Um, but we will say that the, the llama actually belongs to the director's mother. Oh. Yes, and the name of the llama is actually Dolly, hence the Dolly Llama. <laughs> they thought that was so cute. And I was like, does it make it any better? It's still stupid llama. <laughs> No, it never did spit at me. I was always, I never really gave it much of a chance. But, I mean, again, as you see, Grandma was in love with that llama. And she's, I don't think making out with the llama was in the script. She added that. Ugh. Oh, sicko. Yeah, way in the back. Did the bike ramp break on purpose when Napoleon went on it? Did the ramp break on purpose? Yeah. Yeah, it did. I mean, they, I didn't know it was going to break, but... <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to brace yourself for something you know is going to well, I say it's hard to, yeah, you have to brace yourself, but it's like, oh, here it comes. Uh, yeah. I was like, a pretty bummed he got to do the sweet job, but I was like, seriously, guys, I could probably catch some pretty sweet air. No. Instead, I had to crush my pack. 
weird moment is that big gent, that long spider web on your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, keep me that big. My question is, seriously, where did that come from? I think it was like Charlotte's Web happening up there where she was saying goodbye to her babies and they're just flying away. The one got stuck and like, Mom! Um, well, yeah, as you can notice that, you know, uh, John Hader, I gotta say, he does get hurt a lot in this film. But even, even Kip, poor guy, you know, he really is a soft, gentle soul. But you know, that moment when he's in, in, in the dojo with Rex Kondo. <laughs> and he really was like, after the takes, he'd be like, oh, he really, I have a headache. Oh, I really got, oh, he's got, he doesn't have to hit so hard, does he? Jesus. <laughs> no, it depends for me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with those of you where I like, can't wait for the day where I don't have to use that stupid toilet anymore. <laughs> There we go. Sorry, you guys got to clean up over here. <laughs> he broke his cockix. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wrong area. Oh. I see right over there. Yes. Those who can't hear, how, how old were you when you were filming? How old were we when we were filming? Um, I think you were like. Weren't you like 42 or something? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was um, actually, I think I was, yeah, I was about 25, I think, when we shot it. Um, I was 30. So there you go. Everyone's doing that. They're going, um, what is their secret? <laughs> they're talking about, they're like, yeah, that makes sense. These are weird, crusty looking high schoolers. Why does Pedro have bags? And there's like, beautiful. It's, it's on the internet now because now there's Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Back then, it didn't exist. Uh, right there, green sweater. Um, I that's one of those movie magic moments. The chickens had pretty weak talons. I was hoping for like Peregrine Falcon-esque like claws, but instead they were weak and clipped. No, they weren't clipped. Um, yeah, they were pretty weak. <laughs> but they kept pecking me, so they used the other end and I was, again, you know, I went into the movie kind of having a respect and love of all, you know, living creatures. And I came out the other end just like, I don't need llamas anymore, chickens, uh, no, I don't need chickens in my life anymore, I don't need a... Uh... There was some other animal in the film, what was it? What? Cows. Cows. Oh, cows are pretty cool, actually. They didn't do me any harm. Um, no, there was some... What was it? What? There was no Wolverine. <laughs> well, there was, but... <laughs> that was a deleted scene you didn't see. Ligers. ligers. Yes, you're right. There were actual ligers. And... No, the funny thing... There was like an added scene, like an extra footage of a liger roaming around Preston, Idaho. Well, hold on. Hold on. No, no. This is not an issue. they riding on one. <laughs> but Jared, as you know, who wrote the film, he, like, he put that idea of the ligers, because I had never heard of them before. Uh, although it was pretty close on par with what I grew up drawing. I was an artist growing up. Yes, an artist. And I remember one of my most beloved drawings that I did in high school was a lion beast that had wings and magical powers. And when he told me about the ligers, I was like, that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but ligers in real life are a real thing. They're, it's a male lion and a female tiger bred. And they're really weird looking creatures. I mean, they're kind of like a big, they're giant cats. And there was a liger farm outside of Preston that Jared had read about that it like broke out and there was like a couple ligers running free in like outside of Preston, Idaho. And so he remembered that growing up and put that in the script. So there could have been one in the background. Do I prefer ligers or tater tots? Well, tater tots I can eat. I mean, a little bit more, you know, practical. Um, 
But drawing, I prefer drawing ligers for sure. Eating tots. Tots are pretty awesome, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, a, did you guys ever see the commercials where he makes a totzilla? No. Oh, where you make it, right? Or no, you make the, the totzilla. Oh, I'm talking so, about our uh, Burger King commercial we did like a couple uh, years ago. We were like pushing the cheesy tots. Go look that up online. We both did a Burger King commercial. I completely forgot about that. Oh. Um, <laughs> Because normally they say when you when you do a commercial you you, you take a bite out of the food and when they take, when they say cut um, you you're able to take it out of your mouth and put it in because you'd be eating tots all day so when I was telling John no you got to really eat them dude <laughs> eating tots the entire I'll just kind of wing it because I didn't know how to choreograph or I didn't really did it's not that I didn't know how to choreograph I just didn't want to I was too lazy to uh, plan something. Plus, I found I do much better when I'm alone in front of the mirror after a nice shower. Um, so when we shot the dance scene, I, it was like shooting a love scene in a movie. I kicked everybody out uh, except for the cinematographer and the, and the director. And then I just had a love scene with myself. <laughs> and we did those three songs that we were talking about earlier where I danced until I basically was puking my guts out. Um, because the love scene with myself was really gross. Um, and, uh, yeah, there you go. It took all of this space. Well, awesome. I think I speak for everyone, guys, when I say thank you so much for stopping by. so much. So we just saw Jen. Jen? <laughs> we John Heather? We just saw John. Peter? Yeah. Peter. Oh, no, no. John Hedder. Peter. This was, no, the guy called. Yeah. Hey guys, we just Hi. saw I got a question. John Peter. That was quite a surprise. It was a lot of fun. And right now, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's freezing out here, but it's so cool. Look at this. The egg. It's so sweet. The egg. Yeah, there's okay. like water over here. It's so cool. And if you subscribe to me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>